Latif. I'm the founder and CEO of Ottoman 3 Brow Bar and you're in our brand new store in South Melbourne, 265 Clarendon Street and we're open. This is day one. It all started with the idea of, you know what, we're going to take this space on Clarendon Street and I had to first thing first meet with the landlord to negotiate the deal. From the time that we met with the architect to the day that we opened the store today, we are in a three month period. It's actually a really quick turnaround. A lot of people are quite surprised by how much we were able to do in the three months. Right now I'm looking at our very first visual merchandising illuminated table. Um, it was inspired by the Kim Kardashian West uh, pop-up store that she, the very first one that she did. Hi guys, my name's Tanya. I am the operations manager here at Ottoman 3. I do everything from bookkeeping to HR and uh, buying toilet paper for the toilets. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the lead up to South Melbourne was actually pretty good. I felt like we were pretty organized. It was, we've had a couple of goes, so we had a good action plan in place. We had no internet, thank you Telstra. Other than that, everything was pretty much on track. There were a few little bits and pieces that were missing, but again, nothing that we um, couldn't work out anyway, so we managed to just figure it out. Oh, How so do you funny. find your boss? Oh, how much do you love her? <laughs> do you want a pay rise next year? Yes. Then tell me how much you love her. <laughs> My name's Molly and I'm the marketing manager at Ottoman 3 Brow Bar. What was the first question? <laughs> I'm trying to be the person between Ottoman 3 and all our guests or clients how we talk to them, what we want to say to them, what we're selling them in a nice way. What was the most stressful thing about launching South Melbourne? It was setting the graphics for the wallpaper. Natalie and I were like actually <laughs> hand, it took hours, like it took way longer than we thought it would take. It's what is going to be in the stores for Years and years to come, so you want to get it right. This is a story all about how my life got flipped and upside down. My name's Madge, and I'm the e-commerce manager for Ottoman 3. So my roles are looking after the online store, making sure that everything looks beautiful and is working, and creating discount codes for all of you. Also pack orders. That's the fun part. Natalie, I am the digital producer and maitre d at Ottoman 3. So my responsibilities are normally to do social media, edit all the YouTube videos, anything digital related is my thing. Hi, I'm Susie. I'm the regional store manager for Ottoman 3. I do a range of things. I travel between stores, I do rostering, I make sure that company policies are maintained and our team are well looked after and so are our customers. Were you stressed about South Melbourne? Uh, no, probably only in the last 24 hours, just the final details. Alright guys, we are about to do step one to the launch of our South Melbourne Brow Bar. So we're walking to the venue for the very first time. The leases have been signed, they've gone back and forth from lawyer to lawyer to lawyer. Now we're going to show you the space. Come with me. Miserable Melbourne winter weather, but by the time this brow bar opens up, it'll actually be spring carnival, so I need to go on a diet. We really should have walked. This is so lazy, but I mean, it was going to get rain. wet. My, like, dirty hair. Couldn't have that. Alright, guys. Well, this is stage one of when you're opening a brand new location. So you have an empty carcass, essentially. It is... Can you have a look in here? I don't know if you guys can see. It is just um, uh, four walls, really. Uh, a lot of concrete. But in a few short weeks, we are transforming this space into an Ottoman 3 brow bar here in South Melbourne, Clarendon Street. And what you're going to see is we're taking it back to where the brand was originally inspired. And that is the Ottoman Empire. So for those of you that have ever been to the palaces um, in Istanbul, there's a real strong sense of bringing those vibes, for the want of a better word, right into here. First stage, done. Lease signed. Let's build it. So as promised, I'm going to be taking you behind the whole 
journey of building a brow bar. And in our case, this is brow bar number four. One of the hardest parts was to find the location, which honestly, I said no more brow bars, but when I saw that location, I said, all right, one more brow bar. I've said in the past that Ottoman three was inspired by the Ottoman Empire. So you're gonna see this gorgeous archway and it's effectively a dome. And we've never done a dome before. This is what the store is gonna look like. This is called a render, guys. So once you've worked with your designer, they create a 3D render of what it would look like. So this is at the front view. If you're standing on the side view, there's a foyer um, right next door to us. This big area here, what we're hoping to put in there is an LED screen. This is looking straight on into the store. So it's a six chair setup. This is our waiting area. This is where all of our merchandise will be. Yeah, just looking right up into the dome. The vinyl's going up now, so hopefully it's up. Oh my God. Oh my God. No way. I just called her before. I don't need it. Oh, how are we feeling about it, Matt? I'm so excited. <laughs> Why is no one answering their phone? Yeah. Matt. Oh, she's on the Hello. Are you ready to see your store? <laughs> These things don't always go to plan, by the way. Um, are the entire bodies cut out? Oh, yes. That's not cool. I wasn't meant to be going on site, but so I've got three more meetings. Uh, the vinyl decal is wrong. It's a brown one. It's brown one. Follow up. So the thing you bring in the other material, there's uh, definitely nothing. Yeah, I, I did ask him at the start. Yeah. Okay. But the so thing is, you're going to come with the person to show. So what I do is that all of this is white, and there's a little over yeah. there and a little over there. That yeah. Sorry to interrupt your installation, but I thought it would be better. So probably one of the biggest challenges for us leading up to the launch of South Melbourne was definitely finding the right staff for our team. We've had many, many interviews. Uh, we are very selective because it's not all about technique. We don't just hire anybody. A lot of girls that come in for interviews usually don't make it to the next stage. Not many people make the cut. We're very um, particular about who we employ. It's also about a good fit for the company. We're very particular about how we train our staff as well. So in the end, we actually decided to put staff there that had already um, had some experience so they're already existing staff members who have been with us for you know three four years plus just to have some experienced team members in there like we just didn't want to launch a store that had a whole bunch of new people in there it just, just wouldn't work for us um so Tuesday or Wednesday <laughs> to be confirmed um, and then because it's a, we need to confirm fairly soon because then I need to know when are we open for trade so if it is a Tuesday are we open for trade on the Wednesday or do we have a day off to just reset the store and then open the trade on the Thursday. They're the things I just need to figure out. But as far as closed off, yeah. I think we're all in agreement. VIP only. Does anyone have a strong thought on how many people should be at the event? So I'm making the list yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I think I got, so there's 11 of us. So the VM table was something that I was involved with in Mini and I got together and designed what was going on, what tile, and then put the design brief together and sent it off to the builders and then they are involved with getting it actually made. Madge, for this um, tweezer that's gonna sit on VM, do you reckon it should say tweezer or tweezers? I know it is singular, it just feels wrong to say See, tweezer. here it writes tweezers. It does? Yeah. Can you bring one here? Sam, bring me the tweezers, you yeah. say, you know? Bring me the scissors. But it's a scissor and a tweezer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring me the pen. Maybe tweezers is a word in this instance. Okay, right. That's correct, it put the S, right? It actually came to life like the day before that we launched, which was awesome. Oh my god, the funny. I believe they are building this entire store with no electricity. There's no light. I just want to show you one of the cool features. So this is our bar. Come down this is this little like shelf area. This is where you can charge your phone. A beautiful makeup station. In my mind, the vision was that it was a bar bench. So I always had this gold chair in mind to um, be sitting under there. But when it was actually built, the bench itself was really low, like sort of like table low, and you couldn't fit a stool under there. So I begged the builder on site, could you please lift it up? Which is not that simple. It's Corian, there's glass behind it, which means glass had to be recut. And they just said, yeah. Tony's gonna freak out. I don't think this is good enough for the computer. 
Yeah, but it's higher. Why oh, the computer's sitting on top of this? Oh, does this sit on top of the drawer? The cast? Yeah. Thing coming on top of here. Do we put the computer in here or on top of in? Or is this for the register? Look at that new Oh my god! That'll be your rage server, right. the computer will sit on top. Oh my god, you have a panic attack, you're like, that's not going to fit there. I didn't know that this just top. fits. We, uh, so where's the TV screen? TV screen's in China. I got it working. What happened? Oh my god, don't, it dried! Don't tell anyone, but I ruined the wall. So that's five grand right there. I am not telling anyone. Oh, hi. Right. Marty in the way. Yeah, nice to meet you. This is Nat. Hello, nice to meet you. Top of it, where do you think the top should uh, I would think you'd go 300 mil off the top, wouldn't it? Perfect, guys. Thank you so much. Now I know your little tricks. Oh, <laughs> this is brass gold. Right, it's the finish of our BM table. As you can see, we've got the brass gold yeah, yeah, and then the skirting there. And these doors are going to be brass. Now, if you have a look here, the skirting is not brass. It's just your plain wood skirting um, costs money so we hit over budget by a lot and that's how I had to cut costs so but I it turned... still looks like do you think I'm yeah. like, in my mind I'm wishing that that was all gold trimming but did you notice who knows so guys this is how our acrylic plates come to yeah. life so Nat put this uh, brief together on paper right we said we want the mirror on a tile and then we flip it over and ta -da, it gets engraved I could have bought a real Fendi bag. <laughs> That's why I had to get a fake Fendi because of these acrylic tiles. See? Opportunity costs, guys. Nice. We're on our way to Fox FM to film our ad because we don't have enough to do today. Filming an ad and I put too much retinol 1% on my face and my face is burning. I burnt my face off. <laughs> Luckily, Dr. Yilmaz was on call and she told me to rip off all the empty ingredients off my face and just put set of fill on. It's kind of stressing. Kind of. How can my face feel on the day of the launch? Nice to meet nice you, I'm Danny. Are we allowed to Natalie. Film? Nice Natalie. Celine. Celine. Hello. Nice Hello. 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 Okay, so just to get some timing and some levels, have a run through when you're ready. Hi guys, it's Minnie from Ottoman 3 Brow Bar. We've just opened our fourth store and to celebrate, you can get 10 bucks off brow threading at our new Ottoman 3 South Melbourne store today, tomorrow and Saturday. 265 Clarendon Street, South Melbourne. Half a million brows and counting. Cool, I reckon this one should do it.
to do with ordering the caterers, the bartenders, the DJ, the photographer, the balloons, the illustrator. So I had to get all of those into one room. I actually enjoyed the night. Everyone was just in such a good mood. It was so well organized. Our marketing team did such a wonderful job. That front palace bit, I loved. I loved it. <laughs> and that was so cool. It was really, really fun. It was a little pinch me moment. It turned out to be such a good night. It was actually my birthday, the day of the launch, which was really, really cool. Absolute favourite part of the night was probably about halfway through and just seeing the sun set into the store. <laughs> the gracing table. <laughs> the cocktails, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> it was really, really nice to see everyone in the same room. It was a bit fun. Definitely loved seeing people's reactions to the new store. Love. Unreal. It was absolutely awesome. Like the buzz was so fun. Can't wait to see you all there.